Oh my god. No, nope. we'll go to what park? Seven Pacific Park. That's the oldest game in the book. Good morning fam, we went down and got breakfast this morning and then I went to 7-Eleven and tried a coffee. I'm gonna try like heaps of coffee places in Thailand, so make sure you follow my TikTok because I'm gonna put them on there. So we're going out tonight for New Year's, but we need to take a ATK and produce a negative test before we go. So we're just gonna do that now and then we get to go out to temples for the day. I don't want fears anymore. Tomorrow when we're done. I'll do yours. <laughs> I can't do them anymore. 100 baht's reasonable to me. Give you this now, how many pieces have you got? This one. I don't have. Have so we are just on the way to the which temple sorry grand palace which is like the main tourist attraction here so if you've been to bangkok you've probably done this i've been to bangkok five times and i've never <laughs> done this mainly because i've whenever i've been it's like, been like for one or two nights now's a chance to do it so we're heading there now we're just getting transportation and we've already bought a sarong so you need a sarong to enter the temple um obviously so i'm wearing a shirt to cover up my shoulders and arms i have shorts on but i'm gonna use my sarong for the temple. Hello! So you obviously need to um, dress a little bit modestly and cover up when you go into the temples. We bought myself that sarong earlier, so I'm gonna put it on when I get to the entrance. If you're foreign, then you pay entry to get in. Um, so it cost us 500 baht each, so around $20 each to get a ticket to come in. A massive mural depicting the invasion and how they got the Emerald Buddha back. That's all gold and it goes on forever. Ongoing story where like each scene is independent but it all like links up. I know that story. I've heard that story before. That's the oldest scam in the book. What is, okay, so let's talk about that then. It's a really common scam when you come to this area that they'll come to you and try and tell you that something's closed so that you'll go somewhere else with them in their tuk-tuk or whatever. The normal scam is also to say it's closed today only. So that means that if you've read online and it's open till six, you might believe him. For, for me, I guess this is my first time in Asia or Thailand or anything like that. And it's Michael's, what, like 10th? <laughs> yeah. So I think I, you know, being my first time, I might have fallen for something like that, so. These Thai people in general are really nice, yeah? And they want to help you, and they want to make life easy for you. It's not representative of all Thai people, it's just, that's how they make their money, right? Uh, oh, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> that was a monitor lizard. <laughs> I think it's a monitor lizard, that's what it would be oh in Australia. Oh my god, that was massive! So we are here at Wat Po, which is a reclining boot up that just walked a kilometer to get here. So we're resting here and then we'll go in to see the Buddha. I'm in the reclining Buddha and that's his feet and his head's all the way up there. Um, but there's lots of people so I don't want to keep stopping in the same spot but this is the reclining Buddha. It cost 200 baht per person which is like four bucks? Four bucks? Four bucks to get in. Four bucks to get in. So free eight. Tie. Yeah, free. Yeah, if you're Thai. Don't have a problem with it. They're allowed to have their own culture and see it and if they, they could easily just not let us go into religious places and not see it at all, but... No shoes in here. No shoes. So we are done at the temples now. We are just on the way home. It's New Year's Eve today. It's 4.30 in the afternoon. We've been out for a while, so let's go to New Year's. <laughs> 